In the last few videos, we were learning about the Simple Mixer. This is basically as simple as the Cubase Mixer gets. However, in this video, we're going to be learning about the Extended Mixer view and the Routing view. But here's one little caveat. When I talk about the mixer in Extended mode, it's going to be taller than the screen allows for this tutorial. So I'm going to be getting rid of the Transport panel panel from time to time by typing F2 on my computer keyboard. So if you suddenly see the transport panel disappear, it's because I'm clicking the F2 to get rid of it so that we can see more of the Cubase extended mixer. So with that in mind, I'm going to drop the transport panel out of the way by typing F2. And then on the simple mixer in the upper left hand corner is the view controller which will allow me to extend the simple mixer into its extended mode. So by clicking that button then the mixer gets much taller. We're still seeing all of the controls that we were seeing on the simple mixer but now the screen has been split horizontally into two different displays. One of which is the simple mixer, the other of which can be customized. For example right now we're looking at the VU meters for every single track so that not only do we have an individual VU meter or volume unit meter on every single track but we also have a big version of it which will allow us a more precision view of the volume of that particular track. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to press play on our project and you'll see the volumes in this VU display. I'm on my So this extended mixer view is customizable to display what you want to have in the extended mixer view. And that is controlled by these buttons over on the far left hand side. At the very top of the screen is the reset button. This will clear all of the views in the extended mixer so it will be blank. But now you can choose what information is being displayed in the extended mixer. The first is inserts. So if I click on the show all inserts button, now I'm looking at the insert effects for all of those tracks. Then the other buttons are EQ, which is one version of equalization. And then there's another view of EQ underneath that so that we can see some of the other controls and the graph at the top of the extended mixer view. And then we move into effects sends. There are eight separate effects sends on every single track. So right now we're looking at sends one through eight. But I can also fine tune that control to show me sends 1 through 4 or 5 through 8. Then underneath that is this big star button. That is the studio sends for the control room. And we'll be talking more about the control room in another tutorial. Underneath that is the surround sound panner, which we're not using right now because our project is going to be a stereo project throughout this entire Cubase 6 title. But then underneath that is the VU display, and that's the one that we were looking at first with all of the volume unit meters above every single track. And then finally we have the channel overview mode. This allows us to see what insert effects are currently turned on or turned off. For example, on this particular track we can see that I have an insert effect on insert number 2, but not on 1 nor on 3 through 8. Then in the center, these 1 through 4 lights show us what EQs are currently active on that channel. And then finally, what send effects are currently enabled on the track. So on this track, I have two inserts, no equalizers active, and one send effect active.
Whereas on this track, I have no inserts, no send effects, but I do have two bands of EQ enabled for that particular track. So the extended mixer allows us to see more information about our entire mix. And the view is controlled by these view controllers on the left hand side. But there's one more view I want to talk about, and that's the routing view. So you'll notice at the top of the extended mixer view, there's another little arrow up button. And now when I click this, it's going to run all of my channels off of the display screen. So that's why the simple mixer is about to be cropped off on your video display. But that's necessary for talking about the routing view. So I'm going to click on that button to expose the routing view. And the routing view shows us where the input signal for that channel is coming from and its output routing as well. It also shows us if the channel is stereo or mono. We can also reverse the phase of the channel and we also have an input gain control for every single track. You can either type in a value here or there's a volume control on this little dial but normally you can't turn that dial without holding the shift button down first. So to change the input gain, you have to hold the shift key down and then you can adjust the gain. And we'll talk about what all these settings are in a different video. But that is the routing view. And if I zoom my entire display out here, then you can see the entire extended mixer view showing us the simple mixer, the extended mixer, and the routing view. But bear in mind, throughout most of these tutorials, I'm only going to have two of the three vertical columns visible in the extended mixer. For example, I might actually have to be hiding the routing view so that you can see my entire mixer on your display screen. So now that we know more about the extended view of the mixer, let's talk about the mixer's relationship with the project window. And we'll do that in the next video.